Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sanjana. In today's video, I'm going to be setting up this weekly dashboard page in my ink bucket planner. So let's get started. I'd actually ordered like uh, planner kit stickers in order to use for these dashboard setups. But unfortunately, it hasn't arrived yet. It was supposed to be here at the beginning of the week, but it did not. Um, I did have a kit that I bought last year which I haven't like used fully so I thought I could use it I love the colors and like flowers it's just like such a nice bright and happy mood so I'm gonna be using this particular kit today so let's get started and just wanted to like you know check in how are you guys doing I know that a lot of the videos lately have been very focused on like specific topics whether it was multiple planners uh, or talking about like goals and vision and like all of those things I feel like I've not gotten a chance to like just just check in so I want to know how are you guys doing and what's been going on I hope you are taking some time to just rest if you have had a hectic year it's it's a nice time to you know just take a step back and give yourself a bit of rest by the way i got myself this uh paper blade finally it's gonna be a lot easier now to cut this washi tape and any stickers that i may want to whoa lovely such a clear cut line And while I was planning for this particular video, usually I just take some time before filming to think about like what I want to add in these sections and uh, you know all of those things like about my goals and to see and this is a new layout. It took me like way longer than I usually take to plan for these videos. These weekly dashboards are quite quick for me to film and to like just get a sense of what I want to add here but this week it took a little bit longer because of all these new sections I'll be having a separate content planner so I didn't want to add anything related to that unless it affects like my personal aspect of my life so I was like oh what what, sh what am I going to add here I don't know and finally I I think I've come up with like good stuff I'm excited to add all those things and having the space, I think it can go like either way. One, it's gonna like overwhelm you. And like I was saying, having so many sections in a planner can be a bit overwhelming. But at the same time, like after I decided like what and all I wanna add in this particular dashboard setup, I was like, this is great. I'm getting to dig a little bit deeper, think a lot more about my goals and intentions for uh, not only really for the entire year but just for this week and how I can be more mindful about my life in general I feel that is that's a really nice uh, aspect of this planner the only section where I have still not decided is this one so weekly expenses i stopped adding here in uh 2021 itself because i film in this planner all the time and i just didn't want to constantly keep thinking about what i what i'm okay with sharing and what i'm not okay with sharing so uh i don't add that here as of now i'm thinking i could add like a picture of the week or something but i don't want to pressure my pressurize myself doing that so let's see end of the week like I might think of something and probably like change it up every week so we have all the headers here the first one I want to write about like my personal goals usually I used to do my work goals or content goals here so just renaming the section to personal and I have like a couple of things that I just want to make a note of and that is just a reminder for this week I think I'll write it as take a break and rest well because I'm off from work from Tuesday onwards so I just want to use this time wisely and intentionally like take proper rest 
I, I really want to do that. I feel like I need it very badly. And if I don't, it's just going to get too much next year too because I've, I, it's been quite stressful over the last few months. So I need to do that. So for taking a break and resting well, I've just started three reminders for myself. One is to like sleep well especially the timings i need to go to bed a little bit earlier not a little bit a lot earlier i don't even want to like say the time that i go to bed so that's one thing and then another thing is daily walks that is just like it's it's become i don't know i feel all of these uh, physical activities that i'm doing lately whether it is walks or yoga i just feel that they impact both my mental health as well as physical health so that is um, that is something I love doing and I want to continue doing it for the next week too and then drinking plenty of water as well I'm I'm doing that but I think there is definitely room for improvement so that is regarding my personal goals and then here what I wanted to add is something a message about like uh the yoga challenge that I do every year so I did it in I think I started in 2019 20, this is this will be my fourth year so I messed up the header here it's actually a hashtag YWA move I instead I just wrote yoga anyways that's okay I can't use a white word because it's a colored sticker so moving away from this um, every year i've been doing like a yoga challenge at the beginning of like january it's a 30-day yoga challenge every day there are new videos on the yoga with adrian youtube channel it is all for free and it has like a theme for all these 30 days and it's so nice to like learn about a concept sort of embody that into your daily life i love it i it's, it's just one of the best decisions that I've ever taken to like start doing these challenges. And last year I shared it with you. The theme was uh, home. And this year a lot of you are doing it. You have been messaging me or like commenting. I'm so happy that you guys are joining me as well as millions of others who participate in this. I will leave a link in the description box in case you want to go and sign up. They send you a calendar for the entire 30 days. You will have all the practices that we will be doing and also the duration of each practice so that you can plan your schedule accordingly. And this year's theme is movement. Last year's was home. This year's is movement. And there was a really nice message that the, um, the Yoga with Ad Adrian channel shared, which I loved. And I thought it would be so nice to add it here because it's just a nice thing to look at, you know, a lovely message. It says movement because that is the theme. movement is how you engage with life i loved this phrase it it means so much to me because of like you know my 2021 goals sorry my 2022 goals and what my intentions are for the upcoming year i feel like this theme just fits right into it and i wouldn't have wished for any other theme for uh to begin january so it continues to this phrase continues it says movement is how you engage with life this is a journey to move your mindset to align with purpose to love yourself and to live in truth i really liked it and i think uh out of all these like four things i would love to add that this is just because there's no space if this was if there was space i would have completely like added the entire thing so this is a journey to live in truth i think this is what like stuck out if i had to choose among the four like truth to yourself 
that i think that's the most important like at least that's the message like i took out of it and i am really really looking forward to it from the 2nd of january on the 1st of january there is like an introduction video wherein the entire theme is explained it will be i'm 100 sure that it will be a delight to watch so from 2nd january onwards we will begin with the actual yoga practices so that is lovely and this one meal plan i was thinking of using this as like one line a day kind of a section wherein either i add like one memory from that particular day or a uh, memory or highlight or like uh write some some phrases that really speaks to me uh, you know something like this like movement is how you engage with life something like that i thought i could add it every single day because for my fitness i wanted to use the alicia souza planner but i haven't received it yet and i think uh, like there are some issues but their team has been like extremely what am i doing i <laughs> i kept all the stickers in my old planner and i'm looking in this one anyways their team have been like extremely helpful to help me solve the issue so that is currently going on oops looks like i've all rearranged my stickers anyways i'll add that later i wanted my fork and knife sticker so the team has been extremely kind and i'm waiting for the issue to be resolved so until i get that i will use this as my meal log itself because it's really helping me to be a little bit conscious and make better decisions in terms of like my food habits so until i get my alicia souza planner i will be using this as a meal log now moving on to our guidance section which is amazing as soon as i got it and i saw the card i i'm like ah oh, this tarot reading this thing that i got into my life uh two two years back i feel just so blessed and grateful for it because every time i do the reading the message just reinforces that this is amazing and how like i don't want to use the word accurate i think it's it's just an alignment with what's going on in my mind and what like guidance i'm like desperately in need of anyways uh this week's card is pitta pitta is basically an ayurvedic dosha which is a combination of fire and water both of these elements of our planet are quite powerful they have the power to change for the good and for the worse so basically in tarot card and oracle card depending on whether your card is upright or downright the message and the guidance shifts a little bit so when i got the card upright and what this indicates is that you are in a very determined place in your life at this point in time and uh whatever goals you have set the universe is in full support has given you all the power you need in order to go ahead take action and achieve it and also it is the uh, receiving this card is an indication that perhaps it is time to like not only work on your goals but also teach others about what you have learned and i'm like whoa we are doing this get set 2022 challenge and initially i did not have anything in my mind to do this i thought we'll just like last year how we did setting up our planners we'll just do it the same way then because i sort of like organized this thing even on my end i feel a lot better even for you guys like you know what to expect what's coming up so that you can plan your um set up uh routine accordingly and i love like in these videos i not only like share my what my goals are but also share like how i plan them and how you can do that how to do like the reflections how to create a vision board and next week too there are some like really exciting videos coming up for that so 
I just felt like it's it's nice that you know it's going in the di right direction and this card indicates absolutely that so this is the reason why I really really love doing these readings every single week and I'm extremely grateful that I get to do it not only for myself but like for my friends for my family for my clients and yeah I just I just really love it and uh b by the way like uh, the water element of it there's just like one I wouldn't use the word warning but I think something that you need to like be a bit mindful about when you are like focusing a lot on goals and like you're really determined and you're like heading uh, forward in the direction that you want to go the water element which is like flow and like play that is something you shouldn't forget in this process. So it's always important to like, I, I keep reminding myself that too, like not getting too serious about all of these things. Yes, of course, focus, determination, discipline, all of these things are important, but at the same time, having fun, enjoying the process and just living life, that is important too. So this card is like just perfect for that. And I love it and if you're watching this video take it as a sign for yourself too and let me know if it resonated with you or not this particular reading I'd love to know that this was a message that came out of the card too with actions but at the same time Don't lose connection. With. The element of water. So this is nothing but. Remember to. Play. loved the reading and yeah this is the card and i also like that how i'm just noticing it now that these card colors like is going so well with the kit that we are using for this week i just love finding connections <laughs> in small ways like this all right then next i want to add my affirmation here usually i would add it in the section which we had on the right hand side over here but since we don't have that i'm renaming this section and also i've got like a couple of pocket notebooks as freebies this year when i ordered a few planners and i'm thinking i'll use that as my shopping list so i can move it out of my uh my planner so the affirmation i really wanted to like create an affirmation something related to like the reading that i got like uh, just reminding myself to have fun a little bit in the process like not forget that aspect of everything that I do uh, but it was just not like uh, hitting the right heartstring I was just not able to connect with it and with all of these things affirmations quotes and goals and like a vision board everything make sure that like it's it just strings your heart so it has to strike that chord you you have to like get an emotion out of it so nothing was really matching it so but i found an affirmation which is really nice i think i've used this in the past though but i think it is it is a nice affirmation for like the beginning of the year this says i am ready for miracles to flow in my life i think it's very nice so this is regarding the affirmation by the way i have added the calendar for upcoming week just go and check the community post i don't know if everyone gets to see that because some of my friends have told me that they don't get it in their subscription like feed uh regarding the post i update about the calendar so just do a double check sundays i i add that 
Sunday mornings. I make sure I add that. So go have a look. Let me know which video out of the three are you most looking forward to. For me, it's definitely like the manifestation spread. I'm really looking forward to like creating that manifestation spread. I think it's gonna be really, really nice. And this one, I'm just covering up that header with some washi tape. I think it will like getting the washi to the side of the page is is nice. Let's see what I can add there. This is amazing. I also wanted to add like this box sticker somewhere. I think I'll like add it in this highlights section of the week when I'm doing my reflection at the end of next week i think we're pretty much done with the spread and i just love how simple it is but at the same time i was like really thinking about oh ooh, what am i gonna add here what am i gonna add here and all of those things but what i really really like about this page is that it's not just about like the things that i need to get done i know last year a lot was focused on that like my shopping list like uh, my work goals or like content goals i love that i have separate planners for all of them and for this it's like not just about the things that i need to do but also uh nice messages like just get a good feeling when i open up this page and yeah i'm really excited for the upcoming week by the way i might upload like multiple videos on some days next week mainly because of the video schedule and um, there are some videos that i want to upload next week but we don't have more than seven days so just look out for that make sure you have the bell notifications on because sometimes you uh, it misses and yeah i'm really looking forward for tomorrow's video and all the other videos that are going to be coming up in the final week of 2021 all right guys i will leave you on that note and i'll see you tomorrow bye